When you've been following me for a while, you probably have noticed that I use the hashtag uh, rule breaker quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I use it on almost every post that I write. Why? Why, you may ask? Well, because I believe firmly that breaking some rules is a good idea. And also, my sole client, the client that I really enjoy working with, is a non-conformist individualist who is right now still an invisible rule breaker. What do I mean by invisible rule breaker? They are the people who, for all intents and, pur and purposes, look like they are following all the rules. They're living by the book, they're working by the book, they're doing everything that they are supposed to do. But secretly, consciously or subconsciously, they feel like something isn't quite right. They seek secretly um, subconsciously or consciously they feel there are rules they have to abide by which are silly or even stupid very simple example i used to be an, a consultant and a project manager i used to have to go to clients quite a bit and i was expected to dress a certain way i could wear pants but um was also very much appreciated if I showed up and work in a dress or in a skirt wearing stockings and everything else that came with it. Now and especially in that attire I didn't feel very comfortable. I find stockings to be really uncomfortable. The high heels that come with it are not very comfortable either. So I never quite understood why I couldn't show up in a nice pair of jeans with a nice blouse or something, or a blazer. Because my brain would certainly have worked better had I been allowed to uh, wear those clothes. Very simple example, and it doesn't sound important, but it did make me um, not perform at my highest level, I think. And also, it chafed, it chafed. Classic example is me coming home, getting out of the car, two neighbors sitting on a bench drinking a beer in front of the house. Me going into the house, coming back out again 10 minutes later, and I'm hearing my um, neighbors mumble to each other. It's, it's, it's as if there's two people living in that house. One person goes in and somebody else comes out. And that was simply because I, I took off the clothes that I was wearing, my professional attire, put on something really comfortable, brought my dog out and went for a walk. And that really comfortable clothing would be what I would wear on the weekends as well. I would never wear what would be considered professional attire when on my day off because I simply didn't feel comfortable in it. Now there's lots of rules that all of us abide by and some of them make perfect sense. They make sure that we can, along as a society, that we don't bash each other's heads in, that it doesn't become one big chaos. Good rules. But then there are the rules that we grew up with, that we've never questioned, but perhaps we should. And then there come the rules that um, we get taught in school, never questioned those, but perhaps we should some of them. And we start go to university or to college or we, and we start working and all those places have rules our friendship circles have rules unwritten most of the time but we are surrounded by rules and we abide by them whether we know it or not and my sole client is the client who every now and again thinks that's a stupid rule why do i have to do that that's a stupid rule. Why do I have to follow that one? And I don't even always realize it. I didn't realize that I was a rule breaker until people started pointing it out to me. I never married. I'm single. The only, pr the only living being that I 
asked, and I literally asked whether or not they wanted to move with me to Austria, was my dog, and my dog wagged his tail, so I thought, well, he's okay with it. Everybody else I just announced it to. And as a moving to a different country with a different language as a single woman is apparently something that people don't usually do. I quit my job. I had a perfectly good job as a, as a project manager. Moved to Austria, didn't quite know what it was that I was going to be doing, but so far it's turned out all right and I'm doing something that I love. Look where I'm standing. Look at my office. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that isn't to say that it's always easy to start breaking rules. It isn't. Oftentimes it's, uh, it's not actually because you go against what uh, everybody else expects. When you start breaking the rules that are unwritten, well, let alone the written rules, but when you start also breaking the rules that are unwritten, you will rob people the wrong way, as I'm sure I do and I did. And that isn't always fun. Sometimes it's actually hard and difficult and it's not easy to be um, on the outside sometimes, on the outside of a circle of people. A circle of people that do, does abide by the rule. But as a non-conforming individualist, that is what you do. That space, that is at the heart of you. That is what you end up doing when you follow your heart. So that is why I use the hashtag rule breaker. That is why I bring people into the mountains with me to help them see what it is that they're doing in regular life and what it is that they want to do differently. What the rules are that they want to break. What the roles are they no longer want to fulfill. Sometimes that's really hard to see when you are um, in the middle of regular life. On September 7th, I'll be in London doing a workshop that's called Reignite Your Vision. And I'll put a link to that in um, the comment section below. Or you can go to my website, daregreatlycoaching.com, click on events and you'll find out more. In October, I'll be taking a group of eight people, of eight rule breakers, to the coast of Cornwall where we're going to hike for three days. And we're also going to work on what are the rules and roles that you abide by, the roles you play, what are your values, your values, not somebody else's values, but your values, and what is the vision that you have for your life, what was the vision and what do you want to reignite. And I'm going to do that together with Joe Courtney of Inner Synergy, who is all about connecting you with your energy and with your heart with you, the real you, and not the one that is only living by other people's rules. So, when you are an invisible rule breaker who is ready to become the non-conformist individualist that you actually are, it's time for you to either come to London, or come to Cornwall, or come to Austria, or do all three of them. You can take your pick. As always, go there greatly. Bye bye.